Hey guys, and welcome back. Now, there are a lot of people who wanna start an online business, but don't know where to begin. So today I'm gonna to tell you how you can use Shopify to get your business running in no time. Now, if you don't know, Shopify is a really popular e-commerce platform that offers entrepreneurs a seamless way to set up and manage their online stores. And in today's video, I'm gonna break down each step for you and tell you everything you need to do to get started. So. Without further ado, let's begin. And by the way, if at any point you wanna check out Shopify yourself, check out the link in the description below to get a three-day free trial and a discount for a dollar per month for the first three months after that. All right, so to start your online business on Shopify, the first thing you need to do is to create an account. You could easily do this by checking the link out and clicking on the start free trial button. Now, during the registration process, Shopify may ask you a few multiple choice questions to get a better understanding of your experience as a seller, where your business is located, and what products you intend to sell. Once this is done, your account will be set up automatically. Now, after creating your Shopify account, you'll be directed to the dashboard interface. This interface serves as the central hub for managing your online store. So here you'll find a search bar, setup guide, notification box, and your seller profile at the top. Now, the dashboard has two main parts, the displaying window and the sidebar. The sidebar houses all the essential functions needed to develop and grow your online store on Shopify. And by clicking on any option from the sidebar, a specific page will open in the central window, allowing you to customize your store settings and content with relative ease. Okay, now it's time to start adding products to your store. So Shopify provides two standard methods for adding products. One, uploading each item one by one or bulk importing from CSV files. Now, to add a single product, go to the product section from the sidebar and click on add your products. Here you can input various data for each product such as titles, descriptions, pricing, and more. Now, one tip I wanna give you here is to pay special attention to the search engine optimization or SEO for the product title and descriptions as this is gonna help your customers find your products easily during online searches. Next, an important step for the success of your business is choosing the right name for your store because it can leave a lasting impression on potential customers. Plus, it gives character and a unique identity to your store. So to change the default store name, go to store details in the store settings. And when choosing a name for your Shopify store, aim for something catchy, simple, and easy to spell so that customers can remember it easily. All right, now this next step is not necessary at first, but I highly recommend getting a custom domain because it's important in establishing your brand's identity. Plus, it builds trust with customers and increases the chances of making conversions or sales. Now, by default, Shopify assigns a domain name as myshopify.com, and to change this, you can either purchase a new domain through Shopify or connect an existing domain to your Shopify store. So a custom domain will reflect your brand better and make it easier for customers to find your store through web searches. The next step is to choose a theme for your store, and luckily, Shopify offers a wide selection of templates from both Shopify and third-party designers. And as a beginner, there are many free themes available that can save you money while still giving your store professional and polished looks. So to install a theme, go to the Shopify theme store and explore the options available. Also, you can narrow down your choices based on your business's characteristics or explore all themes and use filters to refine your search. And once you find a suitable theme, click on the view demo store to see how it looks in action. If you're happy with the theme, click on the try theme button and apply it to your store. Now you can make changes to various pages, including the homepage, products and collections, and experiment with different elements to create an attractive online shopping experience for your customers. Okay, now to ensure a smooth operation, it's important to configure some essential settings on Shopify. These settings include the payment, checkout process, shipping and delivery options, taxes and duties, and store locations. Now, for payments, Shopify offers numerous options, including Shopify payments and over 100 third-party payment providers. So choose the payment gateways that suit your target customers' preferences and offer a seamless checkout experience. Next, in the checkout settings, you can personalize the information displayed to customers during the checkout process. So this is an opportunity to provide additional information about the order or delivery and enable customers to sign up for email or SMS marketing. And in the shipping and delivery settings, you can determine the delivery options for your customers. This helps you specify shipping zones and prices based on customer locations. So make sure that the shipping rates are clear and reasonable. Now, handling taxes and duties can be a 
complex task. But Shopify simplifies the process by automatically applying default tax rates based on your business's region. You can also access a tax report to help organize and submit the required tax details to the government. And lastly, the location settings allow you to manage various places related to your inventory, such as outlets, warehouses, drop shippers, or apps that integrate with your inventory. This feature is particularly helpful if you have multiple physical locations or fulfillment centers. All right, now let's talk pricing. So the trial period for Shopify is for three days. After that, you can choose one of the three plans. The basic plan starts at only 29 bucks. It provides two staff accounts along with basic reports for your business. Now, the advanced plan costs more at $299, and it'll give you access to a custom report builder and 15 staff accounts. Lastly, the plus plan is their most premium option at around $2,000 a month, and it provides you with a fully customizable checkout and gives you unlimited staff accounts. It also has the lowest transaction fees, so if you have a very large business, then this might save you some money as well. Now, once you've selected a plan, you can make your store accessible to the public by removing all storefront passwords, and this will allow customers to actually browse your product and place orders. Now, the last step is to optimize your store using the Shopify App Store. And with over 8,000 free and paid apps to choose from, you can enhance your store's functionality and optimize various aspects of your business. So whether you're looking to improve marketing, inventory management, customer support, or analytics, there's likely an app that meets your needs. And when selecting apps, it's really important to read reviews and ensure compatibility with your theme and your existing apps. Some apps may come with an additional cost, so be sure to review the pricing information before installing any apps. Now, adding an app to your store is really easy. Simply visit the Shopify App Store, locate the app you want to add, and click on the Add App button. Once installed, you can manage the app throughout your store. And that's going to be it. By following these steps, you can easily create an online store for your business and start selling. And remember that with enough dedication and consistency, your e-commerce business will be a success. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments down below. Below. And if you want to check out Shopify for yourself, then check out the link in the description below so you can get any of the premium plans for just a buck a month for the first three months, which is a deal you won't find by going directly to Shopify's website. Guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.